this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I didn't say Grandma Pat either. Anyway, we're going to read 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. Followed by, you know what, Pat's Two Cents. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, mm, are you ready? Well, we'll see. Listen, when we are walking with God, we get attacked. We get attacked through our mind. We get attacked through our hearts, through our emotions. We get attacked through circumstances, through interpersonal relationships. We get attacked financially. I mean, yeah. But what we have to remember is when those little negative thoughts come pop off in our heads like popcorn, we have to cover that bad boy and cast it down. Because the Bible says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you want to be a true child of God, you have to start capturing, arresting, snatching those thoughts out of your mind as quickly as they popped in. I was trying to pop some popcorn yesterday. I had to cover over it. I'm on the same subject. Grandma hasn't gotten a senior moment. Not yet. Anyway, I was popping some cop popcorn. Boop, 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 and I had the cover, but I had to make sure that the cover was over the, you know, the, the ventilating screen so that the steam escapes, but the popcorn doesn't pop all over the place. We'll see what happens is when our minds get to working, the popcorn starts popping all over the place and we start losing control. You don't want to do that because things get messy. Next thing you know, you're back and forth cussing each other out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you can attest to this and I know it. Next thing you know, you're having a hissy fit. You pick something up, you throw it. You break a window, break the mirror, you break something, or break somebody's head. Mm -hmm. So you have to capture those thoughts. You have to guard your heart. You can't just let yourself think and feel every little thing you want to. Yes, we are free. But we are free not to. And if you allow yourself to go there, what you will end up doing is what the Bible says don't do, which is do not give place to the devil. Now, there is a scripture that says you believe that there is God. You'll know, you'll see my faith. This is real loose uh, paraphrase. You want to see my faith? I'll show you my faith by what I do. So you can't just believe. Because a lot of people think all they have to do is believe. They can cut somebody out. But hey, I believe in Jesus. They can tell you all. They can kick you to the curb. They can disrespect you in public. They can dog your little behind out. And they think they're okay. Because they are covered in the blood of Jesus. They have given their heart to the Lord. Ergo, hey, I'm cool. No. Hate to say it streetwise, don't go down like that. So you have to watch how you express yourself. Your conversation, your behavior, everything about you is to be holy. Because you represent not just yourself. You represent a higher power, your Father, which art in heaven. And if you have to represent your job and you know all day long you've gone eight hours without saying a cuss word, baby, you can go through your life without having to cuss. For the sake of God, 
because of the fact that you represent him, which is way more important than representing your, your job. Now, when you're in these situations, things get hot. Your mind gets to go. And sometimes when I think my mind starts thinking something to somebody, yeah, I bet they did that because of that. I bet that would be like, stop tripping, girl. I mean, you just can't get down in that. Because it's easy to get in it. It's hard to get out. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever fallen into a mud pit. I hope I never do. I hope you never do. Or quicksand. It's just like quicksand. You fall into your pit, baby. You're wallowing. But when you decide, oh, I've done this long enough. It's time to get out. Guess what? That mud's got a hold on you. You really got a hold on me. And it's not letting go. So you have to watch that. Because you get deeper and deeper your attitude gets nastier and nastier. Your language gets uglier and uglier. Your behavior gets more shameful with every moment. And before you know it, your behavior, through your actions, you are crucifying Jesus afresh. That's what the Bible calls it. Crucifying Jesus afresh. Bringing him to an open shame. Because you shame the church. What is the church? The church is the body of Christ. Then you wonder why people don't want to come to church. You wonder why people don't want any parts of any church. Because of what they've seen. The poor examples. Hallelujah one moment and MF and F you the next. Where's the example? Where is the thing that makes me want to give my heart to the Lord because I'm ready for a change. Well, if you're not changing, well, how do I expect for me to change? Okay, that's just a little common sense about casting down imagination. You not only cast down imagination, you shun all appearance of evil. You make sure that you zip the lip, that you guard your heart, and you, you navigate your brain. Your brain doesn't tell you what to think. You tell it what to think. You've got the authority. I rebuke that thought in the name of Jesus. I'm not going there. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Just shut up. Father, help me. This is, I'm showing you what you should do. Father, help me not be so suspicious. Help me not be so paranoid. You have to take all that stuff to God. And Lord, take the hurt out. I don't even know if, if, the, if my feelings are hurt for anything legitimate or if it's just my imagination. Take the hurt out. I don't need to be tripping off of something I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, I'm done for now. I'll be back with another video. Toodles.